Now we're looking at Ali Corno with the left, so the right foot forward. Uh, this one he shows in all three combinations, sword of long, sword of dagger, sword of cloak, whereas left foot forward is only dagger and cloak. This is one that's a little bit longer than the second one, but they do fairly similar things. And both of these do similar things to what Code of the Code of the Rumble cards do because they're both uh, left side leading. So we'll see some similarities, but also some things that are a little bit different given that we're starting up higher. So from the beginning, dealing with a mandrito, uh, high, I can simply go from Alicor, which is facing pretty much straight on, and simply turn my hand a little bit so it's facing the right side of the head, and do the same defense as we had before, striking with a strazzone. Maybe I end up to the outside of the sword, which allows me to go ahead to doing an impoccato. We could also do a feint here. So give it a look of doing a strazzone, but instead go to the leg with a reverso. This is the first time we really see this action. So here, start and go instead. So it's kind of like I'm getting a look of doing this, but instead I'm going there, and I definitely want to immediately come back up with the be able to cover my head. Because if the timing isn't perfect, you will be struck. So get that in the way to make sure you're safe. We can also use facha, so we're going to be coming down to our left shoulder in this case and striking as before, letting them hit themselves. Or we can also use the mezzo mandrito, which has a bit more oomph because we're letting it gravity do the work. So step thrust, or defend, cut, and come back up to your core. If we're ever they go low, we just simply pull the leg back, let them hit each other, hit themselves, or strike their arm to make it hard for them to continue. Dagger in hand, we can use the dagger to cover, and similar action, but the only difference here is that the thrust will be a imbrocata, not a contraverso, because I'm already in a thrusting position. So we're here, we're going to step across, and either thrust, end in Chengdui, because this is not a position to be in, it kind of violates our rules of wall from one side, but end here, or we go for the head or leg attack, meaning here or there. We can also simply step back a pace and strike the hand with a mandrito. So here, the attack comes in, that's a tough action to strike the hand. If they go low instead, same idea here, we're gonna pull the leg back, let them walk on that point, or I help them along by striking the sword. Finally, we have a broken hand. Roughly the same actions, in that we are going to Use the cloak to defend and either thrust or cut. So step across the hand or step across, hit high or hit low. We can also take a step back, striking the hand as it's being exposed, or we can use testa and the counter as we see fit. So essentially, we're here, transition trade and do the attack wherever makes sense, keeping in mind that their cloak is going to be here. So it will likely be a cut to the leg. Finally, if they go low, we have the exact same defensive we have for the other two, pull the leg out of the way, thrust, or cut. So they go low to the leg, pull it back, and either hit him in the face or cut him in the arm. And that is Ali Corno with the right forward Mandariti defenses.